Okay, uh, Defina, have you tried to connect MATLAB and Coppelia following the tutorial that I published? Okay, just uh, uh, Sunday night. Uh, no, Professor. Okay. Okay, let us start with the second uh, uh, lesson on uh, kinematic control. So, basically, we are going in continuity with respect to the previous uh, exercise since that uh, if you remember uh, we were required to make uh, inverse kinematics uh, those are uh, the requirement uh, from the previous uh, uh, practice lesson and uh, uh, without caring about the orientation so basically uh, it was required just to make uh, the position and for the orientation, uh, I just wrote, okay, since we are going to use a planar tailoring robot, uh, let us consider the orientation as the difference between uh, the, cur the desired current angle, which is fine only for specific structures and movement. What are we going to do uh, today is uh, to use the orientation. However, we will first uh, stay with our planar trailing robot okay so next uh, tuesday we will uh, use i mean uh, we will uh, extend the simulation to a full degrees of freedom robot basically if uh, everything um, uh, has been done properly next tuesday the extension will be painless simply our code is already ready to be used for a full dimensional problem. Okay, so let us uh, make a step back and remember what we have done. Let me increase the font dimension. Am I registering? Yes, okay. So uh, first of all, okay, in it, uh, we should use the planar tree link and so plug robot equal to and as usual uh, pay attention that you're not in a singular configuration and for planar tree link we do know that the single configuration is uh, for example with all the uh, joints equal zero okay so let us avoid to start in a kinematic singularity uh, the previous lecture required to make the inversion by simply computing the orientation as the sum of the three joint and does uh, uh, simply the error as uh, x desired minus x okay but now we want to use uh, the uh, quaternion error here okay so we i will start from this so just save as another name because uh, so that we will use and we'll call something like uh, main five dummy okay you you will use you will find um, the possible solution i mean is already in class okay so now what we do need here is not complex let me let me repeat a little bit what we do have uh, in front of us so first of all Okay, we clean the workspace as usual, and we initialize. Now, here, the print only for planar link, well, we can, uh, we can also delete it, because hopefully now we are going to work, go to write a code that uh, can be used uh, for a different kind of structure. Uh, and I, the way I handled the, the possibility to run the code with two different algorithms was simply this one. I have uh, a variable, uh, a, a string type uh, named algorithm. It could be inverse or transpose or whatever. So in case it is inverse, I have some gains and uh, I mean, just remind that I'm using the inverse of the, the, the Jacobian. Otherwise, this is transpose of the Jacobian. Okay. So let me 
continue, maybe this will be modified, probably, and we will see how. And then uh, let me continue and see. Variable for the simulation, the final time of the simulation, the sampling time, dimension of the task, the uh, degrees of freedom. Now DH has been defined in the init uh, macro. So we do have the number of degrees of freedom that is uh, N, the vector of time, number of, uh, sam number of samples of our simulation, simply length T. Then the desired, uh, in this case now we should pay attention because this is X and uh, we should pay attention now as position uh, or position orientation, we should pay attention and probably we we may uh, need to modify something let's see then we have uh, x that is the position joint i initialize the the first sample of a q with the initial configuration taken from init and then the velocity okay this is my simulation loop everything is here we don't need uh, very complex code here and basically first of all i need to define a desired task trajectory as i told you several times this can be taken from uh, a, a generation of a trapezoidal pre uh, velocity profile or via any kind of uh, user input for example of a joystick uh, or whatever mouse in this case i assign a constant uh, trajectory and this is, again, X desired, but we may need to change it for our purposes. Then uh, I compute the direct kinematics. And the direct kinematics here uh, is computed with respect, of course, to the current configuration. So DH is the input for direct kinematics, and I need to update at every control loop with the current uh, joint configuration. Then the position is taken from uh, row one and two and column four. One and two because this is only x, y. We don't need z for this specific uh, situation. And four because uh, this is the last column of the homogeneous transformation. Uh, this is not valid anymore. I'm going to, 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 to change this now, today. And uh, the Jacobian uh, still is the same. We'll see maybe if we need or not all the, all, uh, the component of the Jacobian. And then uh, set inverts or transpose. And of course here, I should pay attention in what do I need to write here. Okay. All the remaining part uh, should be adapted in the sense the orientation will not be anymore x desired minus x but more or less the only plot to the simulation okay first of all what uh, i need to change well for example line 46 i do not have uh, anymore the um, i do not have anymore the orientation as a sum of the three joints i want to take to extract this uh, from the rotation matrix okay so let us write and let us uh, um, uh, check from the slides what shall i do here i do have the rotation matrix because this is an output of the homogeneous transformation so the rotation matrix uh, is the sub matrix uh, 1313 of the homogeneous transformation. From this one, I want to extract uh, the quaternion. Okay, and basically this is the quaternion. So let me write uh, a function. So here, this is uh, my main, let me write a new script. Function. Now, let us use the same uh, um, 
Okay, Rotoquat dummy because I already have my Rotoquat. I don't want to 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 uh, overwrite my function in the same uh, folder. So Rotoquat uh, input the rotation and output uh, the quaternion. Let us use the same variable names as the theory. No need to do it, but of course we do know that sometimes is better. And uh, the output is uh, uh, the quaternion. Now, we can uh, select two ways in order to implement it. We can uh, decide to have uh, first the scalar and then the vector part as output or vice versa. Or we can use a vector four by one to uh, collect those values. Let us say eta and epsilon are the two outputs. And then now, basically, I simply have to write this one. So this is uh, eta is equal dot five multiplied s squared t r one one. I have to make the here the sum of the element on the diagonal r2 2 r3 and 1 okay this is eta basically and epsilon is the vector part given by this one so i can have eps1 for example equal 0 0.5 multiplied and then function sign multiplied by this s squared t. So r32 minus r23. One one minus two two minus three three. I can copy this one plus one. One one minus two two minus two three. Okay, let me check if uh, sign is the name of the function in MATLAB. Okay, so it is correct. 3, 2, minus 2, 3, 3, 2, minus 2, 3. Okay, this seems to be correct. Okay, let us do the same for the other. 2 and 3. This is 1, 3, minus 3, 1. 1, 3, minus 3, 1. 2, 1, 1, 2. 2, 1. One two. This is two two minus the other. So here I have two two minus the other, and this is three three minus the others. So this is three three minus uh, one one one. And two, two. Okay. Uh, that's all. I save now my function and I can use it here. I can use it here, okay? So now I need to, to modify something in my variables because I do not want uh, X anymore uh, collecting position orientation. I may want to have a position and orientation, for example, in a quaternion, represented in quaternion. So for example, here, I will define the X desired as only the position, so dimension two, and this is X only the position, or maybe it's better to change the name, P desired position, and this is position in the vector, okay? So basically, let me change, this is the position, this is the position, now, the orientation doesn't hold anymore. I have to, to change it properly. So now here I have to, to rewrite. Let me put uh, some uh, dummy symbol that will have error because here I have to compute the, the error for the cell inverse uh, 
for the for, for the algorithm okay so now uh, this is a scalar and this is a vector three by one but i do want to collect uh, the orientation all over the uh, numerical simulation and so for example i may desire to to to, def to define a new variable that is uh, the orientation the orientation uh, quaternion let me use the same name as the solution that I will give you, so that uh, quat, okay. Without uh, a lot of fantasy, I use quat as name. So here, position and quaternion, that will be the orientation on the end effect as uh, for n, okay. Now, uh, okay, I should write uh, all my comments here, but uh, in order to, to to do it quickly, let me avoid to do it. And also, uh, desired quaternion. Okay. Now here, desired task trajectory, let me also write uh, a desired quaternion. For in this case, I want to have it uh, is, is a, a vector four by one, where this is the scalar part and this is, uh, for example, the vector part or not. It depends from my uh, decision, okay? So it could be first the scalar and then the vector or vice versa. Let me see if uh, I wrote it down somewhere here. Uh, no, but it should be, it should be, let me see. Let me check in order to have the same convention that uh, I've done in my scalar in the end, okay? So let, let us use the scalar in the end convention. We can thus try to be a little bit more consistent and use the scalar in the end. So scalar in the end means that this is the quaternion corresponding to the uh, null rotation. Okay. Okay, so this is the desired quaternion. Now, this X is extracting, line 50 is extracting the current quaternion. And I can assign, so quat at sample he the current one is equal, well now this is eps and uh, eta, okay? If I want to be sure that this is a, a column vector, I, I'm redundant and I say, okay, so now, I modified my code, I have a desired quaternion that is constant, and that's fine. This is the current quaternion extracted, I can now delete this one. And now I need to compute the quaternion error. So in order to compute the quaternion error, I should remember or find the, the differential kinematic and statics. <clears throat> Unit quaternion, that's it. Okay, so this is my this is my orientation error. Okay, so now I have uh, to to write down this uh, uh, this line of code. Let me avoid to make a new function. And here, I just have now I want to quat error. I want to 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 store the quaternion error in order to have a further plot of it. So I also defined a quaternion error. So the current quaternion, the desired quaternion, and let me also define a quaternion error. However, please uh, pay attention that this has dimension three, because we only need the vector part to, to be to make feedback. Okay, so the quaternion error at a sample time e is equal to let us check 
the scalar part of the end effector multiplied the desired vector part. So the scalar part of the end effector, uh, we can use uh, the last element of this one, or we can use this one, so the scalar part, multiplied, what, let's add one, three. Okay, because this is the vector part. This is the vector part of the desired quaternion, this one. Minus, now this is, uh, the same, but uh, the scalar part of the desired multiplied the vector part of the current one. So minus the scalar part of the desired is the element four. Actually here there is a mistake. multiplied eps this is this part minus then we have uh, the cross products on the two vector part and we should use uh, first the desired one so minus s s uh, is already here we can use uh, okay Okay, uh, let me the vector part it should be cross. Eps, uh, uh, let me check desired first. So the desired is this one. Comma, eps. Okay, so this is the quaternion error, and this is uh, three by one. So basically, we have finished, since that now we need to compute uh, uh, properly the error. So now we need to properly compute uh, here the, uh, the equation that is uh, uh, with, the, with the blue background, okay? So K multiplied the position error, and then here another K multiplied by the um, vector quaternion. We don't have uh, the uh, desired velo linear and angular velocities because we are assuming that it's constant just for this, just for this uh, exercise. Okay, so this means that now we should pay attention a little bit to uh, the dimension of, uh, of the Jacobian to be taken. Uh, clearly, now we do have uh, that uh, we may need uh, all the all the uh, the Jacobian uh, column, but we do know that the error may only be along uh, uh, Z for the planar implementation. Okay, okay. So let me check. Uh, so we okay. Let me be consistent with the solution that I'm going to give you. Okay, with the Jacobian, with all, all the Jacobian. Okay, so this is the quaternion error. Now, this is the Jacobian. So my error is equal. The two component here, minus the current one. And then the quaternion error. This is my error. And this is a five by one vector because here we have X and Y and here we have all the three components. So now my Jacobian should be consistent and I can have here the, all the, the three rows corresponding to the orientation. Okay, so now I should be able to have a set inverse K multiplied by the R. Okay. 
and uh, k should be of course five by one so if this is the inverse i need to have 10 for example okay no it's not very elegant the code that i'm producing but let me be quick enough uh, we can leave it here because we are not going to run this now and check if everything is nice so uh, this is the figure final initial join join velocity and i'm sure that here we need to have uh, okay p desire man p and here quad r for example Okay, here it seems that uh, we need to provide a correct syntax at least. Okay, so let us see. Okay, p desire is not, is not anymore 3 by 1, but should be 2 by 1. It doesn't recognize R here. Okay, here, the rotation matrix uh, is not defined. However, this is a, a stupid error because I do know that the rotation matrix is here. So basically, what I have to, to do here is to properly extract the rotation matrix as one by three, one by three, okay? Okay, let us try again. Something is going on. Maybe also, oh, fine, everything is nice. Okay, let me check what's going on. Here, this is uh, the, the bottom part uh, is the initial configuration. And uh, this is my desired configuration with the, with the 0 0.8, 0 0.8, and the orientation of the end effector is the same as the base frame, okay? So everything is fine from the initial and final co configuration. And I have to say that also this is very nice because uh, those are the position. The velocity is uh, here, there is something that uh, is not appropriate uh, for an experiment, but is okay for a simulation. So if you see there is a spike in the velocity, we can zoom here, a spike in the velocity because it, it is a regulation problem. So in the very beginning, it is just firing with the, all the errors, but that's okay. It's not a real issue because we are running a simulation, but in a real robot, I should provide a smooth desired trajectory. Position error here is going to zero, you see, nicely, and also the orientation error. What is important is that our gains gives us uh, 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 almost correctly the um, transient time because uh, in this case the the gains represent uh, the dynamic matrix of the uh, the um, evolution of the errors and the eigenvalue of the matrix represent the inverse of the constant time. So in this case, uh, 10 means constant time of uh, dot one seconds, and it means that uh, after, let me say, dot five seconds, uh, I'm almost sure that the transient is expired, okay? Let me do it with the transpose of the Jacobian, just uh, to, to check 
if everything is fine, the only thing that I have to change here is this one, because for the remaining part should be okay. And everything is fine too with the, with the transpose, except, no, sorry, I have to write transpose here, otherwise. I, I just run the, the same uh, code as before, sorry. Okay. Okay, the transpose of the Jacobian, uh, may notice that the transient is not finished yet. Okay, the gains are different, so I should, for example, increase a little bit the gains for the orientation part. So let me try, and here, instead of seven, I may double it. Okay, not yet. I may improve uh, a little bit by trial and error and increase the gains. Okay. So basically, what we have to do, what you have to do now, is to write a rot to quaternion and to compute the quaternion error. Okay, then you will see that you will make a lot of small mistakes with the dimension of the vectors, uh, much similar or what uh, happened to me. Okay, uh, any any question about uh, what you are going to do in next uh, hour or so?